Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today we will explain how to replace rear disc brake on, um, on a mountain bike guys. There are a few different designs. We'll explain the one with the six bolts. There with us, we'll explain how to do that. Uh, we'll be demonstrating on that Yeti bike. We bought it guys, uh, used and somebody put a really cheap disc roller on the back that can practically kill you guys that's ridiculous i mean on a nine thousand dollar bike to put something cheap like that so always guys use good quality parts okay good quality parts when it relates to suspension brakes frames because your life depends on it now before we start let me tell you a little bit about us every single car we get here in the garage we try to make at least two to three hundred free repair videos why we do that because our mission in the shop is to save you as much money as we can all we need guys in return please subscribe to the channel like the video that way we can keep making this free videos and if you guys need to buy any parts do this for a good price and quick shipping check out the link in the description of the video below that's where we get all our bike parts to use and you can save a ton of money so what we have here that's a yeti bike i'm going to go ahead and flip it on the uh, uh now upside down okay like that I have a towel here not to scratch things perfect just like that and we're going to go ahead and replace the roller in order to do that what we need to do we'll need to remove okay one second we'll need to remove the wheel you can see because that's where the bolts are yeah that's a quartz disc i'm still mad at it now we have the clutch here okay on the check this thing out on the uh, uh derailleur so we're going to extend it like that press here it's going to stand so uh practically okay you can see we'll be able to pull the wheel out we're going to get here now guys okay uh, the Allen wrench in our case we have here that we need to remove that axle so what is that ours in our case is a five yours may differ you may have a different kind you may have a quick release but it's important to remove your rear wheel so let's go ahead take it off okay let's keep doing that we might need to hold in our case with another okay Allen wrench it's uh, right here perfect and we're taking it off guys okay let's hold the wheel i'm going to pull the bolt out the axle we're gonna go through the chain and it comes out this is our disc roller right here i recommend to inspect your brakes brake pads as well uh, in my opinion okay it's necessary to replace those guys okay when you install new uh, disc rollers as well so let's go ahead and remove ours okay we'll need to go ahead and do that so ours okay are right here you may have the one with the pin or this one so let me go ahead do that quick okay and let's see okay if we can do that fast okay don't press the brake paddle now we have the spring here okay those are the brakes shimano brakes so we use good good quality products guys okay right here with the internal spring as well brakes don't look bad but i recommend to replace them so they can see it correctly with the new roller right here now okay this is the bolts that we will need to remove right there there with torque socket so we're going to get this is i believe torx 25 most likely let's check it out or torx 30 is it 25 yep right on the spot perfect and we're going to go ahead always tighten on those by hand i recommend to use let's use the ratchet only don't use any impacts even little bitty ones okay because those you can strip them easily never use on torx impact always ratchet itself because if you feel like it's about to slip you can stop once you pre-loosen them then you can get the impact if you want to at that point because everything is good already you can see they have thread locker you should always have thread locker on yours so let's go ahead get the next one now we'll show you what we have here specifically it's going to come the kit usually will come with the bolts that are pre-treated with thread locker okay it's going to talk about that it's going to talk about the thickness of the pad and all that stuff to make sure okay that uh, you can see it says about pads when to replace them 
they need to have two millimeter of uh, uh, brake part material and when it's less than half needs to be replaced that's the old roller that will come out okay out of here and we're going to place the new one now okay with the letters and stuff goes towards the outside perfect just like that now one thing let's remove it now here we need to wipe everything really good really good make sure that you don't have any dust dirt contamination anything like that so we're going to go ahead wipe here everything really good let's wipe the roller on the back side because we put it there and if it has some uh, dust and dirt it will not uh, be seated correctly so we're going to align it now just like that we're going to get the bolts that come pre-treated and you have the springs here as well so those are kind of like the lock washers kind of deal i'm trying to focus it says top where it says top you can see the bolts come pre-treated with thread locker let me show you they're blue uh, so you need to make sure that yours are too otherwise they can get loose you lose your brakes you're done guys so do not uh, just start them by hand do not uh, get them tight you need to install all of them before you start getting them tight okay working on it now so very very close to being done perfect and when you put new roller as i said get new parts guys too because uh, they will see it better if the old roller especially was uneven and grooved that can cause uh, quite a bit of seating time so when you put new parts in your roller it will uh, take less time to break things in and uh, in most of the times okay there is a special video that you can watch on youtube i've seen it how to seat new brake pads on a bicycle so go in a cross pattern okay guys go in a cross pattern here okay one for me each other always have to go in a cross pattern and we will explain what else you need to do perfect Okay, working on this one now and then we're going to get uh, the other one and show you what else needs to be done there okay perfect so now we need to get things tight okay and we'll continue so all of them will require different torque you can use a torque wrench uh, and you can uh, do that as well uh, tighten them in a cross pattern sequence perfect okay now kind of like when you do it quite a bit you know guys what to expect great now we go to another one just cross pattern sequence and go back and recheck the uh, second time okay uh, you can see if you go okay that's perfect too much those will practically uh, you can see the washers will curve so okay that's great great okay perfect so that's it guys okay that's perfect okay and we're going to recheck things you can see and we will be practically guys okay ready to continue okay with the next step which is all we have to do you install it and then i recommend you put the new parts and you're ready to go you can see not very complicated i recommend to ride a little bit see the parts and check okay the torque specs on the bolts again to make sure that they don't get loose guys because sometimes uh, when things see it a little bit it may uh, uh, actually uh, get loose so recheck them again after a short ride to make sure that everything's good hopefully the video will be helpful Thanks for watching, see you next time.